Fentanyl is deadly. Exposure to an amount equivalent to a few grains of sand can kill you. Illegal fentanyl is causing a crisis in our nation. It is 40 to 50 times more potent than heroin. It is extremely dangerous to users and to those who simply come into contact with it. If you are a first responder, that could be you. What does fentanyl look like? It's a plain white powder. It looks a lot like traditional heroin, which looks a lot like basic cooking flour. Fentanyl is often mixed with heroin or, in some cases, even with cocaine. We also see fentanyl being pressed into pill form. Counterfeit pills that resemble things such as oxycodone and Xanax could contain fentanyl. And whether in pill or powder form, fentanyl is exceptionally dangerous. Absorbed into the bloodstream through your skin, through mucous membranes, or by touching your mouth, nose, or eyes after exposure or even by accidentally breathing tiny amounts of airborne powder. And symptoms of exposure can include drowsiness, disorientation, difficulty breathing, pinpoint pupils, and clammy skin. As the fentanyl threat increases, so does the risk to you. Something that looks like heroin could be pure fentanyl. Assume the worst. Don't touch this stuff or the wrappings that it comes in without the proper personal protective equipment. Police canine handlers must also be careful. Your dogs are vulnerable too. If you think you've been exposed to fentanyl, seek medical attention immediately. Fentanyl acts very fast in the bloodstream. Notify medical personnel immediately that you or someone with you may have been exposed. Naloxone or Narcan can reverse the effects of fentanyl. However, multiple injections may be necessary and make sure you get medical attention after. Please be safe. Help us spread the word. But first, listen to these two police officers from New Jersey. They're going to tell you what happened to them. They're okay, but it could have been tragic. In the process of sealing the bag, um, just out of force of habit, I, I grabbed the bag and I closed it up, forcing the air out of it so I get a good seal. And when I did that, a uh, bunch of it poofed up into the air right into our face, and we ended up inhaling it. I felt like my body was shutting down. Um, and I, people around me said that I looked really white and lost color. Um, and it, it just really felt like, I thought, thought that was it, I thought I was dying. That was, that's, that's what my body felt like. If I can imagine or describe a feeling where your body's completely shutting down and, and you know, preparing to uh, stop, stop living, you know, that's, 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 where, that's the feeling I felt. You actually felt like you were dying. You're, you couldn't breathe very disoriented um and every everything everything you did was exaggerated in your mind i guess it was uh it was, it was the most bizarre feeling that i never ever would want to feel again to be honest with you and it was just it was just a little little bit it was just a little bit of powder just puffed up in the air it wasn't like you know we were the whole bag had dumped out or anything like that it was just a very minuscule amount and uh that's that's the scary thing about it it was um it was so quick and such a small amount that you know we didn't even have time to think